and welcome to Down the Rabbit Hole. Today, we're going to be talking about the Bear Lake Monster. Um, if you're new here, hit that like button, ring that bell for notifications. Please subscribe, help a girl out. Um, I do have four other podcasts you can check out as well. Just a Breezy Chat, True Crime Lounge, Sass and Southern Bell, and Dork Academia Queen. So, what am I? This is a podcast. This is on my YouTube channel, Breezyville. Though I just haven't felt like going through the process of creating a nice Spotify account with this. But anyway, uh, I'm kidding. All podcasts are the same email and everything. But today, I was looking at some folklore and, like, urban legends and, like, everything. And this one came across my list. And it's called the Bear Lake Monster. And this is said to be a folklore near Bear Lake on the Utah-Idaho border. And this myth originally grew from articles written in the 19th century by Joseph C. Rich, who was an LDS settler in the area. So, in reporting that to report a second-hand account and sightings of the creature, however, he later recanted the stories in the recent years this monster is considered to be a tourist attraction, and the last reported sighting on this monster was in 2002. Now, do I believe in this monster? No, by a long shot. Um, I do believe in ghosts, um, in, because I've actually seen a ghost. But anyway, um, but what is this description of, like, this Bear Lake monster? So, according to one team of folklorists that is reported to resemble a serpent, but with legs about 18 inches long, which is a moralda along the shoreline. And one article reported that the creature had a large underlying body about 36 feet. Um, feet of exposed surface of a light cream color moving swiftly through the water and at a distance of 3 miles from the point of observation. Now, others reported seeing a monster-like creature and went faster down a locomotive and even had a variously described as being similar to a cow, otter, crocodile, or walrus, minus the tusk. Now, the size is reported to be at least 50 feet long and certainly not less than 40. Um... 40, but some have reported that spikes of the spine starting from the bottom of the head all the way down to the body. Some have even spoke of a second member of the species, um, a smaller monsters as well. So what about the history of this supposed creature, folklore creature? Well, in 1868, article in the desert, um, this Deseret News announced that the Indians have, tradition, have a tradition concerning a strange serpent lion creature inhabiting the waters of Bear Lake. Now it seems like a water devil, as the demons called it, and it has been made, has made an appearance. A number of our white settlers declare that they have seen it with their own eyes. The Bear Lake monster, they call it now, is causing a great deal of excitement up here. In the author, Joseph C. Rich, went on to tell several sightings of the creature in recent times. The article created a stir in Salt Lake City, within a stir of the new staff members quizzed by many Bear Lake people and felt hardly a person to doubt it. And hardly a person would doubt it. Of course, why would they, right? Um, but the LDS church leaders took an interest in the monster even when they visited the area on the preaching tours. Now, and they took the opportunity to speak firsthand with residents about the region. Now, they also stated that there had been conversation with Brother Charles Seerich and other brethren in the, from Bear Lake Valley respecting that the monster, um, which has been in the lake and found, and this, they declared it as their testimony that has been given by so many individuals who have creatures been in many places under variety of circumstances. That they are considered to be the story to be indisputable. Now, Desert News also continued articles about this monster, skeptical of the times and defensively at others, while other local newspapers turned to attack the stories of the devil in Salt Lake. Um, Tribune even went on to quip with the monster with a twin brother and devil cousins of Brigham Young. 
So, even articles about the Bear Lake monsters continue to appear over many years. Other reciting new sightings, um, or as well as similar creatures in the river in the Utah Territory, are calling the sightings into question. Um, to Bear Lake as well, as President Brigham Young decided to investigate the claims whether the story was uh, an honest tale of the surface or uh, only a fish story. And it went as far as sending a large rope to Paris, Idaho to aid in the capture of the monster. Okay, I'm trying not to laugh, but I'm have, very having a hard time believing any of this. Um, but Young was the only, wasn't the only person capturing the creature, and only local residents proposed using, like, a large bait of hook attached to a 24-foot cable and 300 yards of one-inch rope. And at the time, it was like, uh, used to be a large buoy with a, with a flagstaff inserted in the center. And from the buoy, 100 yards of a three-quarter rope, an extended offshore was captured. It was and hoped to be a monster and exploited its wondrous proportions of the business. Um, and it was in competition with the infamous P.T. Burnham. So, what about the interest in this? Well, it would eventually die down, and the subject would become a phenomenon, and it will fade from the public memory. 26 years after the articles and allegations, Joseph C. Rich finally admitted that it had all been a wonderful first-class lie. So, what about, like, the, the sightings we see in today? Well, they're s supposedly see today. Well, sightings of the bear class monster continued. Even Rich e admitted that he fabricated the original sighting as a horse. In 1907, a letter published in Logan, Utah, newspapers reported claimed that the two men had seen Bear Lake... Um... Batron attacked their camps and killed their horses. A four-year-old claimed to see it. In 1937, a Boy Scout later spoke of the sighting in 1946, and the last reported sighting of the monster was in June 2002, when Bear Lake business owner um, Brian Hiserty claims to have seen the monster. Now, the monster has just been a part of local folklore, partly due to its sporadic sightings and partly in jest. <laughs> For years, a bear-like monster boat, a tourist boat shaped in to look at the Green Lake monster, offered a 45-minute scenic route of Bear Lake with a folklore telling another self-parody in the locals have done it as filled in Garden City, Utah. Raspberry Days prayed with the local children and labeled it the bear-like, the bear, real bear-like monsters. And on other occasions, during the 1996 Raspberry Days, a competition was held in Garden City to see a local school children named Leviton. The judges decided to, that on the is name Isabella, which had been submitted by an 18-year-old girl. But do y'all believe in this? I'm having a hard time personally believing it, but that's just me. Um... But that is it for this episode. I will see y'all next time, and y'all have a great day.